a new duel between two supercars. Today, the prestigious Chateau Burglinster in Luxembourg will serve as the background for this matchup that is once again refereed by our specialist. Bonjour à tous. Welcome everyone to a new episode. Last time we were in Italy for a matchup between Lamborghini and Ferrari. Today, we take you to Germany. Porsche versus Mercedes. Mercedes. Porsche GT3 RS or Mercedes AMG GTS. Who will win? Let's find out. Let's start with Porsche, a vehicle with two faces designed for the street but also the track. With a very aggressive front with its air intakes protected by aluminium grills so as not to damage the radiator against the grid. And for the track, with 20-inch aluminium rims with a magnificent central nut. And its air intakes remind you of shark gills. The air comes in and spreads out laterally. It enters the rear air intake, which will cool the flat six engine that develops 500 horsepower. An atmospheric flat six creating 500 horsepower for the Porsche against 510 horsepower for the Mercedes. Look at the back, a fabulous, very large wing. What's the purpose of this large wing, you ask? It's very simple. The faster the car goes, the more the air will push the car to the ground, thanks to this wing. There's a mini wing here, also for aerodynamics, and a very body-built rear, with this central double exhaust in a black satin finish. A completely different design on the Mercedes, more sober, with a very rounded rear and long lights. Still with 20-inch rims in black satin with a central nut because it's a sports car. And the most interesting part is found at the front, a V8 twin turbo that's hidden under the endless hood with 510 horsepower. So let's test these Germans out and see what they're made of. Let's go. Here we are in the GT3 RS, a very typical sports interior, like the exterior. Alcantara leather is everywhere, including the steering wheel, seats, the pavilion and the central tunnel. A central tunnel with great finesse, with sleek buttons, a very designed gear stick with Alcantara leather and aluminium. The sport chrono pack that you see here indicates the time, but also the time you take on the circuit. Pack Sport Chrono qui vous indique l'horaire et également les temps que vous abattez sur circuit. Toutes les informations. All the information is in front of you with the tachometer and its red zone, which starts just under 9,000 RPM. And to be well set, carbon bucket seats from the Porsche 918 Spider, which give you a perfect driving support. Qui vous maintiennent parfaitement. Et pour couronner le tout. And to top it all off, the Club Sport Pack. This hoop at the rear, which brings a very high rigidity to the body for even better performance on the track. I'm now sitting in the Mercedes. Unlike the finesse of the Porsche, the interior of the Mercedes is much larger. With this very large central tunnel, because indeed the V8 engine is at the front, it's a propulsion, so the transmission takes all the space in the tunnel. The buttons are also wider. We have a touchpad, a larger screen too. The counters are more standard with a color screen in the center, odometer on the left, rev counter on the right, and only leather, full leather, for this dash. It's absolutely superb. A nice touch for this Mercedes AMG GTS is the open sky system that allows for certain light in the interior. 
In terms of the seats, they're much more comfortable. We feel good in them, yes, but the support is not as good as in the Porsche. But we have lots of legroom. And now for the performance. The Mercedes is equipped with a V8 510 horsepower twin turbo engine. All the power is distributed to the rear wheels. It's a propulsion, so careful when you hit the accelerator. The ESP, Electronic Stability Program, may put you back on track. As for the Porsche, she's equipped with a flat six of 500 horsepower. Rear wheel drive, she's much more stable and reassuring. You guessed it, we have two strong character cars, but radically different. And now it's time for my verdict. Porsche or Mercedes? Two vehicles that are really very different. The Porsche, 500 horsepower, that's typical for the racing circuit. If you're a professional or amateur driver, you'd be fully satisfied with its performance. As for the Mercedes, she's more of an everywhere car, useful for every day, so would benefit more people. Despite it all, 510 horsepower, she's sporty. As for the budget, 200,000 euros for the Porsche and 150,000 for the Mercedes. I chose to anger my banker today, and I'm leaving with the Porsche GT3 RS Ultraviolet. See you next time for a new episode.